Moving on from this, we got some news courtesy of Supreme regarding some really brilliant Dr. Martins that they put together. Some very, very nice ones. It says here, yeah, Supreme and Dr. Martin has worked on a new version of the Penton Tassel Loafer. The shoe features a hair on hide and smooth leather uppers with engraved logo metal tassel rings and an airwear cushion soles. Made exclusively for Supreme, the shoe will be offered in three colorways available on April 6th. And I legitimately think this might be one of their best Dr. Martin collaborations ever. These look absolutely sexy. And I have to say, having worked at Dr. Martin's for a long time and having worn a lot of their shoes, the only thing that's scary me about these is that these are very uncomfortable. Dr. Martin's, for me anyway, in particular, they take so long to break in. They're not the most forgiving shoes to wear. I can tell you that for much sure. So they may look appealing, especially in this turquoise color with this amazing gold little tassels on them, but they absolutely make my feet bleed. And back in the day when I used to work for Dr. Martins, you'd get two pairs of Dr. Martins for free every season. And usually I'd have to give them away because I could only wear one pair because the pair I could wear were the ones I broke in. To wear a brand new pair, you were basically committed to having your feet bleed. So it was never a kind of good idea to do. Or oh, these this kind of a cow cow print type of flipping uh, colorway is so buff oh my god this looks absolutely lovely these look so beautiful that little gold hit on the tassel gorgeous with the white socks this is it's a little bit hipstery with the white socks because again whenever i see people with white socks and shoes it kind of makes me think of the type of dudes and gals who roll up their own cigarettes um the kind of people that go to bars and sneak out with the drinks under their jackets um the kind of people who are always asking where's the bag you know that kind of person that's what i think of wears white socks with their shoes but they do look pretty sick here i'm not gonna lie i'm not even gonna pretend like that's not true Oh, this cowhide colorway, this cow print, this, these flipping doja cat moves look so good. These are so sexy. Oh my God, these are nice. Mamma mia. These look absolutely gorgeous. So sure, the standout colorway are these blue colorways and this sort of like cowhide type of thing. Those are definitely the two standouts. And I guess the other ones are dark black, right? Yeah, the blacks I can, I can do without. But that, that colorway here, this sort of cowhide one and this one, the blue, are definitely two of my favorites. But let me just tell you, having worn Dr. Martins for a very long part, very long time, a long, you know, very long stage in my life or whatever it may be, I can tell you now that these shoes look amazing. They actually do wear in pretty well and they're very comfortable after you wear them in. But when you first get a hold of them, oh, they can make your feet bleed. They can make a feet bleed, but I do appreciate them for doing the collaboration regardless. These are really nice. I do like this partnership between Supreme and Dr. Martins. It's fairly sick. I love everything about it, and I definitely would opt for this colorway. This colorway is definitely my favorite. This moo colorway thing is definitely for me. Wow, 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 wow. Love it, love it, love it. Love everything about it. Out April 6th. If you have the time, if you have the money, go and check it out. And if you don't, what can you do? chill out and relax in it chill out and relax 